Hello, this is Ms. Moore, and today we're going to continue discussing characteristics of gases. This is Characteristics of Gases, Part 2. Today's essential question, what determines the behavior of a gas? Okay, properties of gases data table. For this lecture, you need to find your data table handout. You're going you're to fill out that handout, that data table, going through the lecture. Okay, so each slide in, in the, is a row in the data table. Okay, so in, in each slide, you'll have an A, B, or C. We'll have it, all those informations, part A, part B, part C. Part A goes for the observed gas behavior. Part B goes for the property of the gas. Part C goes to kinetic molecular explanation. Um, once we move to a new slide, move to a new row on your data table. Okay, so here we go. Okay, start with the first row of your data table. And our first observed gas behavior is that gases can flow through pipes from one container to another. Um, you could think about, for example, filling up a helium balloon. If you've ever seen that done, they take the, the balloon and they hook it on a nozzle at the top of the tank. They open the tank and the air, the, the helium, sorry, the helium gas rushes into the balloon. It's flowing from the tank to the balloon. Now think, if there was water in there and, they were to try, and you were to try to fill up a balloon with water from a tank, if you open the, the handle, the water wouldn't come up up high and across to the balloon. You would need to have the, you would need to have the pipe to hook the balloon to on the bottom, right? And that's because gases take up all of the space they possibly can. So there's ga part of that helium gas is all the way at the top of the tank. Okay, so the property of the gas that explains that behavior that gases can flow through pipes is that gases are fluids. That comes up from the previous lecture. Okay, and then the kinetic molecular explanation is why, if we talk about kinetic, the movement of molecules, kinetic molecular explanation, the molecule movement, um, why do gases flow through pipes? Because gas particles are not held in rigid positions like particles of a solid or a liquid. Okay, on to the second big row in your data table. Um, the observed gas behavior here is that the mass or the weight of a gas is much lower than the same volume, the same size, of a solid or liquid. Um, the property of a ga gas that explains this is that gases are much less dense than solids or liquids. Why? Because the distance between gas particles is very large compared with the distance between particles of a solid or liquid. So gases are mostly empty space. So they don't weigh very much. Empty space doesn't weigh much. All right, on to the third row in your data table. Um, our observed gas behavior is that gases can be squeezed into a smaller volume. The property of the gas we talked about in the previous lecture to explain this is that gases are compressible. Kinetic, kinetic molecular explanation to this, molecular movement Y, it's pretty much the same as, as the one before. The distance between gas particles is very large. Thus, there's a lot of empty space, so we can smush them, smush them, smush them, smush them together um, until they're, they're touching. Once you, get to a, once you squeeze them together so close, they begin to look like a liquid. Um, that's what liquid nitrogen is, for example, or, or liquid oxygen. It's, it's oxygen gas that had been compressed in so much, been squeezed together so closely, that the molecules are touching, and so they look like a liquid. However, they're not hooked together, so as soon as you give them more space, they spread apart and look like a gas again. Okay, the fourth row of your data table. Um, observe gas behavior. The air in a tire um, inflates the tire all the way around. Okay, so let's, a visual picture. If you ever had, a, let's use a bike tire because you can see that better than a car tire. You have a, a, a bike tire that's completely flat, 
got the inner tube, it's completely flat. You start pumping it up with air, um, what do you see? Well, what actually happens is that the air looks like, the tire looks like it's full, but when you squeeze it, you realize it's not, right? At first, I mean, because the air is filling up the whole tube at once. And you have to keep pumping and pumping and pumping until there's enough air in it to make the tire hard. Think if we were to try to fill up the tire with water instead, a liquid, not a gas. Well, what happened is the bottom of the tire, the part touching the ground would get full, but the stuff on the sides and the top would be empty. And then you'd have to keep putting more and more water in to, to fill the tire up all the way around. That's why it, it's, it's very cool with air. Air, as soon as you put a little bit of air in, just a little bit of air will take up the, in, will, will fill the whole entire tire. It may not have enough air in it to, to, to be, have enough pressure to hold the, the bike up, but still, the, the air molecules move around and they're going to take up the whole tire. So the property of the gas that explains this is that gases exert pressure in all directions. Um, and the kinetic, kinetic molecular explanation or the molecule movement explanation is that gas particles are in constant motion. They collide with the wall of their container exerting pressure. So they're hitting, bouncing off, hitting, bouncing off, bang, bang, bang. They're moving all over the place and that's why they're able to fill in this case, a tire, but fill any container that they are in. Okay, last row in your data table. Observe gas behavior. Unlike a liquid, which puddles at the bottom of a container, a gas always fills the container that it's in. Why? The property of the gas that explains this is that gases occupy all of the space available to them. The molecular movement or kinetic kinetic molecular explanation to this. Gas particles are widely spaced. The attractive forces between gas particles are very small, meaning they don't really want to hang out next to each other. Um, and they're moving around a lot. So they take up as much space as you give them. Okay, that's it for characteristics of gases. Have a good one.